your grip is all packed. Sure you haven't forgotten anything? No, Daddy, I haven't forgotten a thing. Good. Hello, boys. Howdy. Hi. Well, child, I'm sorry to see you going back to school again. But I guess an education's the best thing in the world. And I hate to leave you, Daddy. Especially when you're about to lose the mail contract. Well, I can't understand the government thinking they can carry it cheaper. When my stage has never failed to carry the mail and the shipments through safely and on time in 20 years. Why, there's somebody bidding against me, and I can't find out who it is. But if their bid's lower than mine, there's something wrong. So old man West don't know who's bidding against him, huh? If he knew it was us, he'd start a lot of shooting. Now, here's my plan. There's a shipment of gold going out of here this afternoon. You round up your boys and go and get it. Okay. With that loss, he's bound to lose his contract. Then you and I will have it all our way. You wouldn't double cross me, oh, would you? Fine. You know better than that, don't you? Yeah. You run the livery stable here, don't you? Yeah. Take care of my horse for a few days, will you? Well, I'm busy now, but if you will turn him loose here, I'll take care of him later. Fine. You won't get into any mischief now, will you? That's the boy. Uh, uh, what time does the stage pull out for Goldfield? Two o'clock. Uh, would you mind mailing that for me? Uh, sure enough. Thank you. Oh! My oh. God! Oh. I beg your pardon. I'm awfully sorry. Uh, maybe you'd better sit down. I'll bet it hurts. I must have stomped right on your toes. Let me rub them. I know how to do that. Keep the blood circulating. I hope they aren't broken. I'm clumsy as an old cow. Do they feel better? Much better, thanks. Well, I... uh, didn't you put it in your boot? Oh, yes, I did. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I'm going on a Fourth of July celebration. What time does the stage go to Goldfield? Two o'clock. Me two tickets. Uh, you said two o'clock. Give me one ticket. Are you traveling east? Why, yes, I am. Charlie, you've never failed to make this run on time. And you know what it means to me now. Why, if anything had happened, I'd lose my contract. Your dad seems worried. He is. This is probably the last mail for him. Why? How's that? Well, someone underbid Dad to get the contract. Dad feels there's something crooked, but of course can't prove it. After 30 years, he hates to lose it. You understand? Yes, I do. Of course, if he loses the contract, I'll have to give up school and come home. Well, that would be too bad. Well, you don't have to worry. Nothing's going to happen. We got any passengers today? Daughter, it's time to go. Oh, the stage is ready. Thank you. Well, don't worry. I'll be back on time. Goodbye, Daddy, dear. Goodbye, daughter. We'll be glad when you come back. Don't forget to write. Oh, I won't, Daddy. Every day. Bye. Goodbye.
right, fellas. Here it comes. Now stay back till I stop them. Where's that money box? Get out. Oh. All right, fellas, get the rest of them out Come of the car. Come on out of there. Come on. Come on, get over there. Say, listen, you, you can't do that with a gun. Ah, oh, shut up or I'll knock you down. Shut up. Let's move it out. I'll knock you down here in a minute. You can't do that. I'm going to fool the government. Ah, that's coming. We're doing enough for me. Come on, keep him up there. Back up. Back up. Come on, get these people over to the shack. Well, come on. Take him in the other room, fellas. Spending a very quiet Fourth of July, ain't we? Ah, oh, shut up!
Deliver that mail. Get a posse man and come out to the Glen and notify old Dad West, will you? All right, I will. Well, they must be around here somewhere. Well, have you seen any of them? Not a one. Well, they must be around here somewhere. I wonder if they're in that old cabin down there. Boys? You stay here and keep a sharp look at. Come on, Sheriff. There they are, Sheriff. There they are. Take them up. Yep. Take them up. All right, Sheriff. Here's your man. Did you pick up their boss? Yes, I arrested him just a little while ago. Pretty slick article. Fine. Let's get him out of here. Hey, okay, Charlie. Take him away.
Oh, young man, who are you? Why, uh, my name's Reed. I'm a government agent. Sent down here to investigate the very suspiciously low bid of our friends. Well, the government keeps their eyes on things, don't they? Uh, yes, uh, we try to. Um, my report, I think, will settle the contract in your favor, Mr. West. Well, thanks, son. Well, and this is too good news to keep. I've got to break it to your mother. But bring Mr. Reed up to dinner. Yes, Dad, I will. And you will come, won't you? Certainly. Yes. I don't know how to begin thanking you, Mr. Reed. Well, then, uh, just don't begin. <laughs> Say, it, did I understand you to say you were going east to school? Why, yes, to Washington. To Washington? Well, now that my work's through here, I have to go back to Washington, too. Uh, maybe we could meet sometime again. I hope so. 